What's up, everybody? We are live with the Degrassi 20th Anniversary Podcast Part 2. And today I have Christina Schmidt. Some of you may know her as Terry McGregor from Degrassi. Uh, Christina, go ahead and tell you, tell everybody what you've been up to and some of your experiences and favorite memories from the show. Cool. Hey, everyone. It's Christina Schmidt. As Jordan mentioned, I played Terry on Degrassi. And it's actually quite crazy to even hear that it's the 20th anniversary. Because <laughs> I'm like, wait a second, I'm older than 20 years old? And yes, I am. <laughs> so that was quite some time ago, some of the best years of my life. And 20 years later, it's still being celebrated, which is really awesome. So you were on it from 2001 to 2004 how exactly um all of a sudden like your character like your character wakes terry wakes up from the coma and then after that we don't really see much of her anymore what happened with her character being written off the show was it a contract negotiation or was you just ready for like other um projects um it was it was just part of the show it was just part of the storyline which is which is quite a normal thing to happen in the series I um, mm -hmm. went on to um, LA after that and started modeling pretty much right after right after the show. Okay. And I know, um, and I was, uh, I'm in this um, Degrassi group on Facebook, and all of them said, "Oh, uh, it sh um, a lot of them was like talking about characters who was like at a bottom tier stuff like that." I was like, "Some are just being like rude and stuff." But in my honest opinion, I feel like Terry's character should have been with uh with, should have been with Gavin. You know, I feel like they too, like the way Spinner was being all nice to Terry throughout the series. I mean, people were making fun of her for her wings. So I feel like <laughs> they should have been Terry and Spinner together, yeah. There, there's so many different opinions on that. That's so funny. Um, get the Terry and Spinner thing often. Um, most of them I'm mad, and then people ripping on Rick quite a bit. It's funny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was actually. Um, so I know uh, a few years ago, let's say, was it 2017? You was actually appeared in Drake's um, "I'm Upset" video with the rest of your cast members. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. Okay, I know. That was a super. Few that was amazing. That was so much fun to see everybody. I haven't seen. Um, I, I'm I'm still friends with a few of them, but I didn't see quite a few of them in in a long time. Okay. Um. So, as your so on your time on the show, what was your um what was like your do you have like a favorite episode or a favorite uh, memory that you have from Ooh. being on the show? Um, there was quite a lot of great moments, but it was always fun doing like the, the dance episodes and, and being in the band when, when we had scenes with all of the cast members together, it was great. And then of course, like touching on some of the, the deeper issues that, you know, really touched and moved people are really important and very grateful to be a part of that. Hey, Tori. What up, bro? I'm sorry. Christine, I'd like you to meet one of my friends, Tori. He's, uh, him and I did the Degrassi 20th anniversary show together. Oh, yes, cool. Nice to meet you, Tori. Good morning. Bro, it was a long one last night. It was a long one last night. <laughs> it was. Yeah, she's, uh, she's currently over in London right now. Oh, really? Oh, that's awesome, yo. So it is nighttime over there. First time. How you like it over there, Christina? Yeah, her. She says she doesn't have very good Wi-Fi, so she said she'll probably pop on and off at some point. Oh, okay. I've been dealing with it all week. <laughs> yeah, she was just talking about uh about her time about her favorite. Can you guys hear me? 
Yes. Where the people got killed making out. So she was talking about her favorite episodes and stuff like that, and then about the about how. Don't know if my wife. It's not fun. Yeah, you can't. Look, it's gonna be super creepy and scary, but that's why it's gonna be lit. You good, Christina? And I am sending a message. Graduate. Um, so she will be gone and she'll be back in a minute. Yeah, we're gonna have a car that has a GPS. Yeah, I tell you what, Tori, that was a good show yesterday. Oh, sorry, bro. Yo, what happened? Her uh, Wi Fi had dropped. Yeah, she says if her Wi Fi comes out, she'll pop back in. She says the Wi Fi is not very good. Yeah, man. No disrespect, but I heard over there. Everybody shared a stand in the same Wi Fi, bro. I know. That's crazy. A, a, a sophisticated city like London, and everybody have to share one Wi Fi network. What the hell? All right. There we there go. There she go. <laughs> my my Wi Fi is quite not the best right now. That's okay. It's all so, good. Tori, do you have? Any questions or any members from the show of, her, of Terry that you would like to know? Oh, man. Ooh, I, um, my Wi-Fi is being not so good to me right now. Which uh, Probably shirtless taking a selfie in the bathroom and stroking his hair. It's totally all right, girl. Where's it's John totally King? all right. Right next to him. I, I if, I, if I had to ask you where's, one thing, Christina... I just pretty much ask you, what was your what was your favorite moment, and was there a moment that um, hit you hard emotionally, not just as an actress, but the character you played? Welcome to America, big deal. Oh, it's all good. I know, like she said, I'll wait for a response, bro. Hell yeah. Oh, I can't believe he's wearing his Patriot stuff right now. <laughs> I had to mess with you, bro. <laughs> oh, Yo, you want to say? Thursdays at nine. Yeah, so sorry, it's not working all that well. You okay? Yeah. There we go. There we go. You're good, though. Perfect. Now it's working perfect. Tori, go ahead and uh, re ask your question. Oh, my question was just uh, very simple. Um, um, what was your what was your favorite moment? And as an actress, what was a moment that um, touched you as, excuse me, as that actress and as the character you played? Um, there was a few moments. Of course, like what Terry went through with Rick was a pretty, pretty big one. Um, and that moved and touched a lot of people. So that's always important for me. Um, and then dealing with like the body positivity stuff is is quite a, a big issue for a lot of people so it was great to be involved with with such important topics yeah because there was a time because i remember there was a time where she was a uh, terry actually became a plus size model and you can see her like on the sides of like billboards and school buses yeah or buses or something i forgot something like shamed her for it and i'm just like yeah. you gotta get something and then spinner that's when spinner jumps in and says hey like you gotta be more respectful to her because mm -hmm. you know we're humans and stuff like that so and that's another reason why i had told her earlier that i felt like terry and spinner should have been together oh yeah oh yeah so, oh. so when did you guys start watching degrassi oh shit. <laughs> should i start george <laughs> no i got it. this was actually this was actually years ago it was um i started watching when it was the um when it was the Rick storyline, where uh, okay, mm -hmm. that's pretty much when I started to know that many used to me and my sister used to watch because I remember we was watching it like almost all the time, and that's when we came across you know when Terry gets put into the coma, and then uh, Spinner and Jay cause the paint to drop on Rick, and then and then goes and they backstab 
uh, Jimmy in the back, and then that's pretty much when I started watching it. Okay. It okay. Good. Let's see here. Let's... <laughs> <laughs> I started watching. <laughs> I started watching the Drossy. Oh God. She's gonna freak out. I started watching when Spike was the team at Degrassi. Oh, so the, like the original, original, yeah. Yeah, so like <clears throat> one day, um, uh, my daughter, her mom, when we were dating, this was before she was born. Um, she had said like, I asked her, "What are you about to do?" And she's like, "I'm gonna go uh, watch Degrassi. It's about to come on." I said, "Degrassi." I said, "Okay, have fun, right?" And it just kept ringing in my head. So the next week. I said, you want to watch that show again? She was like, yep. I said, what is it called again? She said, Degrassi. I said, why does that fucking, it's ringing in my head. What the, I know this fucking show, right? So I said, what channel is it on? So at the time here in Alabama, it was on the end before it became Team Nick. Yeah. yeah. And um, I watched it. And I looked, I said, oh, shit. <laughs> and she was like, what's wrong? I said, yo, I watched it when he was a kid, when she was a kid. I was like, oh, so this is. I was like, yo, oh, what the hell? So it's, and I was like, okay, okay, hell yeah. So the next gen, I, I picked up just about where um, Jordan picked in when um, the Rick saga had started, but I had went back and caught up to what I missed though. But I was so pumped. I was sitting there like, I cannot believe something from my childhood is, <laughs> is on like fucking, what? I think it was like, 22 years later. Yep. Oh. Longest running Canadian television show. Yes, yes. And was, that is what... Go ahead, Jordan. You it is crazy. You see how pe people that played on the grass, they playing on shows on like Nickelodeon, Disney, uh, Hallmark Channel, all like... Oh, you got three people from one show playing on this new Netflix show. I'm just like, what the heck, man? Hell yeah, man. But if you um if you want to know if you, if it's in your head though, because me and Jordan we were talking about it yesterday, the one part of the show that just wrecked me, man, and her my daughter's mom saw me cry for the first time was when JT got stabbed, dude. That hurt. Mm. Listen here, I know dudes who you wouldn't consider to be friendly watch that show. And we're on the corner on the block talking about that. I mean, like in a hood. Wow. Did, did, wow. Did you did you did you see what happened? I was like, yo, that's crazy. I mean, like, seriously, <laughs> I almost punched my flat screen. <laughs> I was I was so pissed because everyone knew, okay, this is the moment that JT and Liberty are really gonna be gonna get together. They're gonna get together. And then them bitches from fucking like oh. it gets you. It gets you. It, it it hurt though, man. It hurt so bad. It hurt so bad. But that show, man, like I told Jordan yesterday, that show defined for a generation what teams go through, will go through, and are going through. Yeah. And that's yeah. That's the one thing I liked about Degrassi, and this is one of the things I still like about Degrassi. I, trust me, I don't. I haven't seen too much of the next class because, hey, I can't help it. I'm still hung up on you guys. <laughs> yeah, well, the next next class didn't last very long. I think that ended uh, in 2017. It look they had big shoes to fill, man. That <laughs> co, co, that's like that cast right there was like Harlem Knights. You can't remake it. There's no way. The original There's, cast. Yeah, you, you you can't remake it, man. I don't think you can do is go to Tubi or whatever and just relive it. That's it. And that's what I've been doing. We've been watching it on Tubi. We're on season nine now, and it's like it's just not the same without the OGs on there, you know. I'm um, man. That is oh. interesting too. I I will admit I didn't watch too many of the seasons after I was on. So cool to hear. <laughs> oh yeah, man. So um. What was it like on set? Oh, it was great. We all were good friends and really developed strong friendships over the year. Everybody was super supportive and everybody's talented. So it was it was it was a great, great experience. Oh man. <laughs> the one thing um when I found out, because a lot of times I didn't like I watched like 
scenes for the next episode, but I didn't watch the end credits. I actually, when I found out it was filmed and it's a Canadian product, I was even more stoked because I got uh, family. They're not DNA, but they're family in Canada. And I was like, fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah, Canadian show to the fullest. Fuck yeah. Hey, yo, I'm going to throw this out there. I know this is off subject. If y'all get a chance, there's another Canadian show called Leather Kenny. Give that shit a try. <laughs> I, I have not heard of that. I'll have to take a look. You should give that a try. <laughs> Okay, I have a. I'm uploading. There's an M. You muted yourself, Jordan. I can't see it. That's in the chest. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you see my mouth? I can't see it. Well, that's embarrassing. Bro, but like I was, what I was telling y'all when I first jumped on. Listen here, bro. When I tell, when I tell you, all four of our parking lots were packed last night. We had people lined up on the streets and everything. It was it was crazy, bro. I didn't stop cooking for like five and a half six hours, but wow. I was I man, I was I was hey life being a chef, baby. <laughs> let's get it. Let's, let's get it. I got that message from you. I was like, oh, I forgot about the show. Get up, get up, get up. So I actually have an image here of Christina with Andrea Lewis, Miriam McDonald, and Cassie Steele. Where exactly was this this t- picture take place? Was it at like a like a little reunion or was it that a- was on set of Drake's music video? Okay. 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 Sorry, have you seen that music video yet? Um, I watch a lot of stuff, and I'm not gonna lie, cause that's not how I roll. So, yeah, it was a uh, the set of um, it was um, on the um upset song. Okay, okay, okay. That's cool as hell, though, man. Hey, Christine, let me ask you guys. Let me ask you this: Did you guys think um that um? Hey, I just like calling him by his government name, okay? Did you guys? Did you guys think Aubrey was going to be as successful as he is now? Definitely, he's a super passionate, talented guy. Yeah, I mean, the, the one thing I like about him is he gives back. I love that. Yeah, he gives back yeah. so much. Yeah, he, he does. gives back he so does. much. Oh, hey, I'm gonna make this short and quick. I'm gonna, I told Jordan yesterday. Anyway, you know what Call of Duty is, right? Of course. Mm-hmm. I was on there playing Black Ops years ago, whatever, blah, blah, blah. A dude got on there claiming to be Drake, right? And he kept trying to get my address, talking about he's going to send me tickets and stuff, right? So I was like, no, Aubrey. You know, I don't go to concerts, Aubrey. I don't like large crowds, Aubrey. And, like, he didn't respond. And I was like, yo, why don't you respond to me? Oh, I didn't know you were talking to me. I said, but I was talking to you, Aubrey. Why didn't you respond, Aubrey? You're not really Drake. Because if you were Drake, you know that's his government name. <laughs> I was laughing like, dude, get off, get off, get off. <laughs> I, I, I just, I don't like when people do stuff like that. But do you guys have any other funny. questions? One, what are you working on now? Um, I'm still modeling and slowly going to get back into my acting, but just, just modeling and working on my own social media stuff right now. Hell yeah, girl. My parents are going to kill me. Oh, so, man. Tori, I was uh so Tori and Christina not too long ago we were watching it was when um Paige and Ashley were forming their group and Terry was using these cards and I forgot what the cards were called but they were uh trying to get a girl group together and they ended up coming with the name PMS. How did that name how did that name come across for you guys on like writing the show or behind the scenes? How did that become part of the uh Come that name of the group of you guys. I don't really remember how, but um, it stuck. That's for sure. It was just part of the writing team that brought that one up. Oh, I'm glad you mentioned the writing team. Was there anything at any time that any of you guys did not agree with the writing team? Because I know you guys were... No, there was... The, the writers were quite... The, the writers were really great, and everything that they did was, was awesome. Oh, okay. That's cool. Fuck yeah. Would you guys be up to doing a reunion show? You never know. You never know. Uh, I'm hoping. <laughs> I'm hoping. I swear, I'm hoping. And hey, anything's possible. I know um, not too long ago, Cassie and Miriam did an Instagram live together. So 
who knows? You may, who knows? Yeah. I'd like to see them do like a re. I'd like to see like a reunion movie or something. Mm -hmm. Like everybody's having a like reunion and stuff like oh, that. Yeah, I think that'd be pretty cool. Who was the Who was the biggest prankster on the cast? Uh oh. <laughs> I don't really remember. We were all kind of fun and got up to some fun stuff behind the scenes. Okay. Okay. I've been, thinking, right. I've been thinking it would. I've been thinking it was. Um. Uh. I forgot his name. Uh. It'll come back to me. Go ahead, Tori. Um. Damn it. Yeah. Who? Um. I know. Um. On shows like you guys can't help it. If something's funny, you're gonna laugh, and you just gotta try to get the lines through. <laughs> Not saying anything against them. This is just pure fun for me. Just I'm just thinking about laughing. Who who had to do their lines over the most because they couldn't stop laughing because maybe something funny had happened or someone said something funny. Basically, who created the most outtakes? Ooh, I can't I can't put my finger on that one, but we all had quite a few moments where we would laugh on set and get in trouble. Give me one of yours. If you don't mind, it, you can pick any one. What do you mean? Um, um, a moment. Okay, a moment where maybe you had to say something serious, but someone just did something funny, and it's like maybe you know. I don't, what? Know. I don't remember many like pinpoint moments like that. To be honest, that was twenty years ago. Yeah, I know, right? I'm sorry. I just had. <laughs> I had to ask. I thought like there was probably one thing that stuck out that you would remember. And I, but that is totally cool because I can only imagine in your mind all the hilarious Lots stuff. Lots of stuff, did. yeah. <laughs> I do have to get in a few minutes, guys. So if we want to finish up with some last minute questions, we can get those in. Okay. All right. You, you say you were doing your modeling, your social media, and you would like to get back into your um, acting. What roles would you like to get into? I'm pretty open. I, I, I definitely enjoy comedy and, and drama, but I mean, life of an actor, I'm pretty, I'm pretty open depending what the project is. Okay, okay. And I can tell also that you care about the quality of the product too. Oh, of course, of course. And that's one of the things I respect. That's one of the things I respect. Yeah. Have you ever tried your hands in the, um, directing, producing, writing or anything? Um, a little bit of producing, like in more, more fashion-based projects, like Fashion Week stuff mm -hmm. and, and that kind of stuff. Okay. Yeah. Keep, keep keep it up, Christina. Keep doing the things you're doing. Thank you so much, guys. So thank you for coming on, Christina. Hopefully, I can have you back on again, but this time with other members from with other former cast members from the show and have like a little reunion or whatever, like a little roundtable. Cool. Sounds good, guys. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Take care, Christina. See ya. Bye. Be safe over there. Thank you. Bye. All right, Tori. Hey, that was pretty cool, actually. Hell yeah. Hey, wow. Yeah. Hey, I, a... honestly, I didn't know she was going to be on as soon as I got on. And uh -huh. I was sitting here like, who the hell? I was like, hey, who the hell? <laughs> but, oh, that was cool, bro. Yeah. But, uh... Oh. But is there anything you want to add on from yesterday before we sign off? Um, shit. Like I said, last night was so busy, bro. Nah. Um. Honestly, just it was good. It was good. Honestly, going back down memory lane, man. Oh, Reliving, yeah. thinking about those those episodes, the characters, the actors and actresses who brought those characters to life. You know, it, and it's crazy when you're watching something, you have so many questions you would want to ask, but when you have the opportunity to ask, sometimes your mind draws blanks and things of that nature. But I think, honestly, for like um, Christina, um, the guy who played Jay, and I can't remember who else did shout out, like for them to uh, take time out their busy schedule because you know, um, actresses and actors have busy schedules for them to take time out to drop messages and things like that it just lets you know that there are some celebs that have humility in themselves 
and they show appreciation to the people who actually appreciated their craft and that's one of the cool things i like man and yeah oh yeah definitely so that's what i'm gonna work on so i'm gonna work on trying to get like if i can get like a dead people get a hold of me maybe get like a little mm -hmm. reunion show going on and stuff and have have her back on again and just go from there because i would love to hear stories from the other from the other people on the show oh yeah most definitely I think, hey, I think the hardest person we would have trouble <laughs> getting on the show is Drake. <laughs> you already know. But you never but, know. Yeah, you never know. That is true. But uh, I want to thank you guys who tuned in yesterday and today for the 20th anniversary of Degrassi, the next generation. And until next time, I'm Jordan Balasico, and this is Tori Calhoun. And we will see all of you guys on Tuesday for Motorsports Race Talk at 6.30 p.m. Most definitely.